Hello, my name is Mike Panuski, Project Manager for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, Buffalo District. I'd like to talk to you about non-structural flood risk management measures. Most people are familiar with structural flood risk management measures, which consist of things such as levees and flood walls, diversion channels, retention structures, retention ponds, measures that physically change the environment to manage flood risk. Non-structural flood risk management measures reduce flood risk by modifying characteristics of buildings and structures that are at risk of damage due to flooding and or by modifying practices of people living in or owning property in floodplains. When you talk about non-structural flood risk management measures, there are typically two main non-structural measures. The first is relocation, the second is elevation. Relocation is when assistance is typically provided to home and business owners so they can relocate out of areas that have a high risk of flooding. That allows property owners to permanently relocate out of the floodplain or floodway and reduce their flood risk. After property owners relocate, the structures will be removed from the floodway and floodplain. This would allow water to flow through an area that is wider and able to accommodate higher volumes of water, increasing the capacity of the natural stream. The second non-structural flood risk management measure is elevation. This is a typical house construction. The finished floor of the home is at grade. During a flood event, water would flow through the home, causing damage. Elevation lifts the first floor level of a home above the 1% annual chance flood level, or 100 year flood level. This reduces the risk of damage due to flooding. The house is elevated, so flood waters will flow beneath the finished floor level reducing the risk of damages. That concludes our discussion on non-structural flood risk management measures. Thank you.